Hi everybody, it's Kristen, and I hope that you guys are doing well. Happy Topic Tuesday to you. Um, I am back from Chicago, and before I forget, I do have one more video that I will upload this week that I taped before I went um, on my QVC New Beauty test tube that I got in the mail. Um, but this one is live and in person. <laughs> well, not that that one wasn't, but anyway. Um, and it is Monday, so I got back from, uh, from Chicago yesterday. I had a wonderful time. But I won't go into all, all of that. You can see more of that on my vlog channel. Um, today I want to talk about hair care. I've had a lot of questions lately on um, hair products, styling products, that sort of thing that I use on a regular basis. So I just want to talk about that a little bit today. So I'm going to get right into it. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so first thing, obviously shampoo and conditioner that I want to talk about. And the ones that I really am enjoying lately, and I've talked about these a few times, so I'm sorry if it is redundant, and that is the Joyco line. You guys can see that. I have a little glare in front of my window here. Um, and I also have the Thickening Conditioner. So, sorry, I didn't say that. The Joyco line, but it's the Body Lux Thickening Shampoo and Thickening Conditioner. I have very thinner, not very thin, I have thinner, finer hair than I used to. So you'll notice a lot of what I do has to do with thickening and or volume. <laughs> um, so, no matter how I'm styling my hair, and I'll, I'll kind of refer to, since you guys see my hair in a lot of different styles, I'll kind of refer to the products that I use for different styles as I go through. So anyway, both of these, um, I very much am enjoying these days. Um, I do just want to mention, I did pick up, um, because it was at TJ Maxx on sale, the Joyco Color Endure Shampoo. Just started using this. Don't really have an opinion on it yet, but I just wanted to mention that I was using that currently. Um, so then as far as masks, I truly think by far my favorite mask is the Aussie Three Minute Miracle. And we were just talking about this weekend. Um, I think Shani was saying that she remembered that she she tried it again and remembered how much she liked it. Um, so this one I have talked again about to you guys before. Really, really enjoyed this hair mask. Um, the key with this for me though, because of my fine hair, is when I use it, that's a day that I have to be doing my hair straight. I can't get any of my natural curl to pull in with this. Another one that I enjoy, but isn't, I don't, I don't think it's any better than this, but that's the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. And so I should say it's not any better than this one for my hair type. Um, and I really enjoy this one as well. It has a really, both of them have a very nice smell. This one you can smell on your hair for literally all day long. So after I have shampooed and conditioned my hair, oh, and I do, and I know that not everybody agrees with this, but I wash my hair every day. That's just what I need to do for my hair. Um, I had when it's when it was much longer, I was able to get away with it for a day. But especially since I've been working out, um, you know, three-ish, three four times a week, I have to I have to wash my hair every day. I just can't deal. Um, and it seems to be okay because I take good care of it. I think. So anyway, when I get out of the shower, um, what I've been using, and you guys just saw me show one of these in an empty, is the macadamia nut oil. I really enjoy this. I never used hair oils until, I don't know, maybe eight, nine, ten months ago, something like that. I saw Tammy up these beads doing video about it, and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should try that. And it made such a huge difference. I have not eliminated it from my routine since I put it in. So I very much enjoy this product. So that's the next thing that I do. Okay, so then if I'm going to, and I do, all of those things are the same if my hair is straight, curly, up, down, whatever. Then if I'm going to be doing my hair curly, so I have natural curl, but it is, it's not the best natural curl. It's not beautiful natural curl like Jalapeno 2007 or um, Redhead PhD, or, and I don't have that kind of beautiful natural curl. I just have, it's not even just wave, it's wave plus a little. <laughs> it's, I, yeah, I have to work with it is what I'm saying. So again, because of my thinner, finer hair, I like to use the, um, also from Joyco, and I found, I think I got this kind of by accident. I thought it was the conditioner, it ended up being this, and I loved it. I've repurchased it a couple times. This is the Body Lux Thickening Elixir. So I put some of that in my hands and rub it together to, I think, what is that, emulsify it, and then I put that through my hair. I don't like that as much when I do my hair straight. I feel like it makes it a little too sticky or something, um, but when, I, when I'm going to leave my hair naturally curly or put some curl into it, I absolutely use that product. Okay, so then either way, straight or curly, 
I use some sort of a mousse. And I'm trying this product because I'm using it currently, not because I love it. Um, I actually am going to be trying one from um, Garnier that um, Shani showed in her favorites. Um, that's going to be the next one that I try. Then there's a product that Melissa from 30 Plus I was talking about from Redken that I want to try as well. Um, but anyway, this is the from Pureology, and it's the Silk Botifier Volumizing Mousse for Color Treated Hair. And I really, I enjoy this product. I like it, but I feel like, I don't, I don't think it wasn't life changing. And uh, I just feel like I can find something less expensive. I bought this where I get my hair done because my stylist recommended it. And again, I enjoy it. It's just not the be all end all. Um, if I really am trying to, to boost up the, the roots, and I have talked about this product before as well. This is the Redken Guts. And this is a spray mousse. Let's see if I can, I'll make a mess, but I just lift up, you know, my hair under the top and then spray this in and then really work it into the roots. Um, sometimes I feel like this bothers my scalp a little bit. I have a pretty um, sensitive scalp, so I had stopped using it for a little bit and I'm about to, to put it back in, but I really like the, vo the, you know, just added extra volume there. Another product that I enjoy for um, volume at the roots is the Aveda Volumizing Tonic. And this is my, I don't know, third or fourth bottle. It used to come in a glass bottle, but now it's plastic, which is much better. Um, and again, this, this says creates weightless volume and shine for fine to medium hair. I do really enjoy this product as well. Again, it's one of the last things I do. I put it at the root. Um, you, can, you can put it all the way through your hair. I just choose to put it at the root. And um, both the guts and this one I use whether I'm, um, I, I, I can use whether I'm straightening or whether I'm going to curl my hair. Okay, um, two other things before I talk about hairspray. These are products that I enjoy for um, making my hair kind of PC. I don't do it as much as I used to. If I'm kind of trying to go rocker chick style. <laughs> this is Aveda Self Control and it looks like deodorant. It's not. Um, but you can see it's really, it's really sticky. Like that. <laughs> and so you kind of put a little bit of that on your fingers and then you go like that and then you can stick it in your um, right in your roots and kind of you know pull it back and then you can also go like this and just piece out the bottom here I'll go PC today for you since this is probably not a product you guys have seen before I don't know that I've ever seen people talk about this Whew. good thing I have a towel on my lap because that's a whole lot of so you just go like that And then you just go like that through your roots. And it just really gives you just a little more volume. And then you can piece out your ends. Like that. <laughs> Hopefully that made a difference and you can see what I'm talking about. And you also can use it for, I, I will take a little bit of it. Yeah, just about every day that I do my hair straight. Because you guys know how I hate it when my hair is falling down. Put some on my fingers and then just go like that. And it helps kind of, you know, keep it into place where you want there. So that's a really nice product. So along the same lines, but when my hair, when I put curls all through my hair, not my natural curl, but when I'm actually putting curls in my hair, I really enjoy this product. Um, and Lisa had sent me a sample of this and then sent me some more. This is um, GHD Sculpting Wax Matte Finish. Just like that. And it looks like that. And I just use this the tiniest, tiniest little bit. Um, and again, like through that or through your fingertips and you can just kind of go through, break up your curls and it, but it keeps kind of the shape of the curl, um, but making them a little PC so you're not all like Nellie Olson curls. Okay. So those are, oh, and hairspray. Um, this is the Tresemme, this is the tiny one, but this is the one that I love the most. As I mentioned in my pr products I used up video, I'm trying to use up all of the other hairsprays that I have. I'm currently working my way through an Elnet one that I just can't deal with. But anyway, <laughs> this is the one that I love the most. This is, just happens to be the one I use for travel. It's the Tray 2 4 at the bottom hairspray. And it's the um, extra firm all day humidity resistance. I really, really like this one. It holds really well. It doesn't make your hair feel crunchy, in my opinion. And then this is one of my Holy Grail hairspray products. I've used this for years. Um, one of the last things I do before I leave the house usually is spray with this. this is, I love the smell of this too. This is the Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine Super Spray. And it's a, or it's a pump, not an aerosol. 
Um, and I, this actually is a bottle that I just keep refilling with the bigger bottle. Um, very much enjoy this. It's, it's a basic hairspray, but I, I don't, I've never noticed it giving any shine, but um, it holds things well. I feel like I have my hair sticking out now because I put that stuff in there. Holds holds really well, um, and it's just like I said, it's a nice kind of last before you go. Okay, <clears throat> so cup. So for hair tools, the things that I use, um, my hair dryer that I'm currently using, and it's fine. I don't think it's the be all end all. And I've had this for probably two years now, and this is the Ultra Chi Low EMF. I don't know. Um, and I got it. I'm sure I got it at Ulta. Um, and I, it just has low and medium and it has the cool set and it, it's all right. Um, I, I actually hit it off all the time when I'm drying my hair and that drives me crazy, but you know, it works and it has this end on it. This is the end that I use when I'm doing, um, going to pull my hair straight. Um, or if I'm round brushing my hair and then I have this that I bought somewhere or maybe it came with it. I don't remember, but this diff obviously is a diffuser. And so I use the diffuser end, uh, when I am keeping my hair naturally curly and I do a lot of scrunching and that sort of thing and I generally do it on low when I'm trying to keep some of my natural curl so if you have it up too high even with a diffuser it for me it pulls out a lot of that natural curl okay so when I am I'll just show you quickly the hair the actual tool tools when I'm round brushing this is my favorite round brush but I don't I try to find a backup of this um, and I don't think they make it anymore because I, I bought this at Ulta and I couldn't find it. But this is the Brush Lab Ceramic Curls Brush. Um, the only ones I've seen there now are the ones that they have one right here that look like this. And I don't like this one as well because I like this one. Um, so the, this is the size that I use when I, when I pull it with a round brush. Uh, and then these are the hair tools I use every single day of my life. This is a teasing brush. I also got this at Ulta. I use this just for volume at the crown. <clears throat> I told you the volume was the theme here. And then I use a pick every single day just to pick through my hair when it's wet. And then I use this a lot to kind of get this kind of, you know, you know, to pick. Um, and then this is another one. <laughs> this thing looks horrible. Let's keep it back here because I've used this forever. It's just a, your cheapo rat tail comb. Um, but literally every day for making my part when it's wet and I because I mostly will let my hair air dry while I do my makeup while I you know make a little breakfast get ready for work and then I will um, you know then also drying my hair um, but anyway so this is a, a just a great little teasing comb give you some volume that sort of thing and then I will show you a lot of people have asked lately what flat iron I use and I use the Chi Ultra Chi I don't have, I'm not in love with hot pink or anything, but it was on sale at Ulta when I bought it like a year and a half ago, year ago, year and a half, I don't know. Um, I think it's normally like over $100 and it was on sale for $100. I don't remember. I just know that it was a good deal and I, my flat iron had, had broken. So anyway, I really enjoy it. It works really, really well. I feel like it makes my hair nice and straight, gives it a little shine. So I, I like that product. And then I'll just show you quickly when I... When I curl my hair, I do a couple of different things. When I keep it naturally, bird much. When I keep it naturally curly, um, usually these the top crown is the part that doesn't have as much curl to it. So I will just either put some curls in normally with this, you know, with the clip, or I'll wrap it around with this size. And this is a, I think it's a three quarter inch. And then um, if I'm putting curls into my hair, uh, I will use this size, which I think is. A one or a one and a quarter something like that and both of these are the Conair instant I'm, I have another one that's even bigger than this but I don't use that one as much so those are my hair products I hope that you guys enjoyed that like I said I had a lot of questions on it lately so I thought I would do it for you guys today uh, I will quickly run now what's on my face today because I feel like I've been talking for a long time um, I have the, did I put it in here? No, I have the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation um, in beige ivory. I brought that along to Chicago to use at night, and when I put it on, I was like, oh, I really do like this. So I'll probably be using that one for a while now. <laughs> um, and of course, my Hourglass Veil Primer. And then on my cheeks, I have the Tom Ford Blush in Frantic Pink. I've talked about it a million times. 
and then Too Faced bronzer. On my eyes today, as a base, I use the shadow, a shadow stick from Emphasize. I'm pretty sure we've determined these don't have colors, but it's a champagne-y kind of. I just wanted a light base to help hold on the, the shadow that I used. And then for shadow, I pulled this back out again, and this is the e.l.f. We were talking about this this weekend. The e.l.f. Metallic Shadow Duo and Electrified. It's a really pretty silvery taupey color, and then that purple color. And so I have the, purp the taupey color all over my lid and the purple color in the crease, and just a little bit of wedge um, above that, and then brulee as my highlight. And I'm so boring with those colors. Um, I used... Tarte Gifted Mascara. Oh, and I forgot a I, I, little concealer, the Tarte Maracuja Concealer. Um, eyeliner is um, the MAX Eyeliner in Prunella. And then on my lips, I promised the girls in Chicago I'd try to wear some bolder lips. This is as bold as I get right now. Um, this is the Wet n Wild 907C. And then that just seemed like a little much for me. <laughs> So I, add, I put the Buxom White Russian on top of that, and I'll zoom you in. You can tell I'm sitting on the ground today. So yeah, that's my eye look today. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, there is a Chicago haul coming that will probably get up this weekend. Um, like I said, the New Beauty Test Tube, um, we'll probably get that up on Thursday. And like I said, if you're interested in the vlog, I did a, a day that I went down to Chicago because um, I stayed with my friend Steven on Thursday after I went to Ikea. So that vlog is up already. Um, I'll link that somewhere if you want to check that out. And um, then hopefully later tonight or tomorrow, of course today being Monday, <laughs> I will have up um, the one I just had, I, th I was going to intend to take a whole bunch of video, like so I would have three vlogs from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but I did not get enough because we just did a lot of talking and I wasn't doing a ton of vlogging. So, but I did, I am going to put up what I have in the few pictures that I have. Um, but all the other girls, I'm sure, will have vlogs that up that will be much better than mine. <laughs> but anyway, um, it was a wonderful time and I'm sure I'll talk more about that when I do my haul. Um, I'm sad it's over, but I'm glad that it happened. So I hope that you guys are having a great week, and I will talk to you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.